The newest version of Google AI Studio comes with some incredible updates that finally allows you to build, test and deploy real apps in minutes. And today this video, we are going to together explore the newest Google AI Studio, its features and also build something cool and deploy it. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is Google's new AI Studio and if you do want to access it, all you have to do is to click the link in the description below or head over to aistudio.google.com and once you land on this page, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And we are particularly interested in building apps using Google AI Studio. And for the same reason, I'll click on this option that says build. So it will now open an interface, something like this. And it says build your ideas with Gemini. So this right here is Google AI Studio's app builder, where you can just describe what kind of app you want to build in this input box right here. And you can hit enter and the AI will build it out for you. And the even interesting thing is that you can incorporate various AI features into the app that you're building right within this platform itself. And you don't have to get any API keys or deal with any other stuff. For example, let's say you want to incorporate an LLM or let's say some image generation models or video generation models. Pretty much everything happens within this platform right here. So right now we are in the start page and as you can see here we have the input box. And again, you also have the option to just speak your ideas and then build it. And again, here we can find a couple of use cases or sample apps. For example, here we have nano banana powered app, create conversational voice apps, animate images with VO, and then we can use Google search data, AI powered chatbot, Gemini intelligence in your app, analyze images. So all of these are AI powered features that you can add to your app in just a single click. That's what basically it means. So you can incorporate all these features into your app. And if I click on this option that says gallery, it will open up the app gallery. And in this page, you'll be able to find all the apps that other people have created. For example, here we have like paint a place, past forward, gem booth. So all of these are apps that other people have created. And if you want to try to use it, you can just click on the same and open up the preview and start using it. And in this video, I'm planning to build an AI powered AI subtitle generator app. So basically the idea is that the user should be given the option to upload an audio file and we will create or the app that we are about to create will generate and .srt subtitle files that contains that timestamp and also the actual subtitle content. That is basically the idea. And for that, all I have to do is to just describe that in here. So if you want to, you can manually type your content in here. But in this case, I'm actually going to use this speech to text option right here. I want to build an AI powered subtitle generator app. So basically the users should be given the option to upload an audio file and our app will process the audio and then generate a .srt file, basically the subtitle with the timestamp and the actual content. So there you go. As you can see, the prompt is filled and this is exactly what I want to build. And if I click on this model drop down menu right here, I'll be able to select the model that I want to use to code the app. So here we have a couple of options and the default one is Gemini 2.5 Pro and we also have 2.5 Flash. But in this case, I'll keep it as 2.5 Pro. And if you want to add a custom system instruction, you can enter that in here. So if you have some specific instructions that the AI has to follow, you can enter them in here. And after that, you also have the option to select the system instructions template. So in this case, we are planning to build a react based app. So I'll leave it as it is. But if you're building an angular based project, you can select the angular option. And again, you also have the option to select the microphone that will be used when you use this speech to text tool as well. And then you also have the option to add files. So if you want to, let's say, add some images, screenshots or some other content, you can apply that in here. And now I'll click on this build button. And now as soon as I click the send button, as you can see, Gemini has started working on the same. And now it will write all the code, create all the files and show us a live preview of the app right here. And as I mentioned earlier, we are incorporating some AI features into our app, but we don't want to deal with any API keys or you know, anything related to configuring AI. And it will take some time. So what I'll do is I'll wait till it is done. And in the meantime, I'll quickly take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video, Superdata. If you are a developer or a maker trying to build a software or AI product, you might already know how painful it can be to get reliable and structured data out of the messy internet. That's why I'm excited to talk about our sponsors for today's video, Superdata. So Superdata is an API built specifically to turn videos and websites into clean structured data, helping you skip the hassle of video transcription and data scraping. It offers three core powerful features. First is video transcripts from platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, X and video files. 
And the second is the web reader service to extract content from virtually any website, crawl pages and extract structured data. And finally, YouTube metadata extraction for videos, channels and playlist. This service is built by developers for developers and Superdata is fast, plug and play, reliable and scalable. Their web scraping API delivers clean, structured markdown content, making it perfect for training AI chatbots. Whether you're building AI agents, content repurposing machines or using retrieval augmented generation that is RAG, Superdata feeds your AI with quality data. Plus, the data is fetched in real time, ensuring you always get the most accurate and current information. Integration is super simple. And all API requests use JSON format responses and require authentication via an API key, which is generated automatically when you sign up for the first time. Superdata offers SDK for JavaScript and Python, as well as integrations with popular no-code tools like Anet and Make and Zapier. They handle the traffic intelligently, so you don't have to worry about overwhelming the source server, proxy, rate limiting, or even hitting any roadblock for that matter. And the best part? you get 100 free requests to instantly start building even without entering any credit card information. And Superdata offers a simple pricing that scales to zero, meaning you can start free and grow with them. You can get started in little as two minutes. So make sure to click the link in the description below and definitely check out Superdata. And now back to the video. So there you go. The AI has created a bunch of files in here. So here we have index.html, index.tsx, app.tsx, then constants, a couple of components in here. And there you go, it's already live. So we gave a simple prompt asking the AI to create a AI powered subtitle generator app. And right now I can find a preview of the same towards the right side. And here it says drag and drop the audio file in here. And I should be able to click on this generate subtitles button and generate the subtitle. So first of all, let me quickly go ahead and drag and drop a sample MP3 file. And I can click on this generate subtitles option. And it says processing audio. This may take a moment. And let's just see, hopefully the app works. So let's see. All right, so there you go. It says subtitles generated successfully. And here I can find the content. All right, so here we have the timestamp and also the content. Wow, so the app is working in the first attempt itself. And here we have the option to copy the content to the clipboard. Let me see. Okay, that works. And here we also have a download.srt button. Hopefully that works. Yes, it does. And there you go. It downloads the .srt file, which is the subtitle file. And we can click on the start over button to start over. Okay. So pretty much all the functionalities that we need is indeed working. Uh, yeah, that's how simple it is. So I thought I will have to give multiple follow up prompts to add new features like the ability to, let's say, download the file. But surprising enough, everything just forked in the first attempt itself. And this right here is the editor interface of AI Studio. So towards the left side, you will be able to find the chat interface. And this is where you give follow up prompts asking the AI to, let's say, add new features, remove bugs or let's say fixes and do kind of stuff like that. And towards the right side, you'll be able to find the preview of the app. And if you click on this devices option, you'll be able to check your app for responsiveness. OK, and you can even rotate it. Hmm, that's an interesting one. OK, I'll keep it in the current screen size. I can view the app preview in full screen by clicking on this button right here so I can go back. And if I want to view the code for our app, I can click on this code option. And there you go. Here I can find all these code within our app. So basically it opens up a code editor interface where I can explore all the files that I have along with the code as well. And I believe we can make changes to it as well. OK, that's interesting. So if you want to make any changes to the code all by yourself, you have options for that too. And yeah. It says unsaved, so I can click on the save app option to save all the changes. All right, so there you go. It's currently saving the app and you have the option to download the app like all the code. So if I click on it, it downloads the zip file and there you go. It has downloaded our entire app. OK, so that's an interesting feature, right? So you click on this button right here and it downloads the entire zip file. And after that, if you want to, you can open that project in cursor or any other AI editor locally on your computer and start working on it. And you also have the option to create a GitHub repo and add the same, like push this app as well. So that's interesting thing. You have proper GitHub integrations. And finally, we have the main option that is to deploy the app. So before I try to deploy the app, I also wanted to show a couple more features. So towards the bottom side in here, one interesting thing I found in Google AI Studio is that it gives you some suggestions as to what features could be possibly add to our app. So right now this right here is our current state of the app. And as you can see in the suggestion section, here it is asking us if I if we want to add a few more interesting features like AI features, add audio formats, improve SRT accuracy, 
add progress bar add example audio add voice options okay how about we just go ahead and add one more new feature so the, basically the idea is that i should be able to manually speak directly or let's say take a recording directly from the website and turn it into a subtitle as well okay so i can give a prompt next up we want to add a new record functionality directly within the website and the user should be able to click on the record button speak something and stop the recording and our website will generate subtitle for the same okay i don't think it makes any sense but let's just try and i can click on the send prompt button and hopefully it will implement the new feature within seconds so let's wait for it all right so there you go it seems like the microphone feature is now added and we can directly record audio from the website and turn it into a transcription and right now it is requesting the access to access microphone so i'll click on allow and there you go right now we have this upload file tab and also record audio tab okay in which case let's just try to use this record audio button right here all right so this right here is a sample audio that i'm recording to test the functionality of the ai subtitle generator app that we just built on google ai studio so we have recorded around 15 seconds of audio right now and i believe this should be more than enough to test the functionality so let's see i can click on the stop button and there you go okay i can listen to a preview if i want i can discard it i can record again and let's say i'm happy with it i can click on the generate subtitles button just like this and let's see there you go it works i can download the srt file and pretty much everything works okay so our app is indeed working and next up here we also have an option that is annotate app and if i click on that particular option i'll be able to manually annotate and select specific parts within our app and make targeted edits for example let's just say i want to make changes to this section right here for example let's say i want to change the font of this uh, title right here and as you can see as soon as i enable this uh, annotation feature here we have this bar opened up and now i can select a specific area add a rectangle and then add to chart for example let's say i select this much part here and i can click on this button that says add to chat and then i'll say please change the font of the title and description and also add a different color and i'll click on send and let's see so right now as you can see as soon as we take uh, or let's say do some annotations and after we add the same to the chat a screenshot is sent along with the prompt so that the ai will know exactly what we are referring to and what changes to make so that's also a nice cool touch within new google ai studio so let's wait for it all right so the changes are now made and it has added a gradient color to our text and also replaced the text to pop-ins is that it yeah pop-ins so that is also working so as you saw this is how simple it is to create an app so maybe i can close this one okay before that i'll let me also try to deploy the same so towards the top right you'll find a rocket icon that says deploy the app so you can click on that particular option and you can select a project that you already have okay it says deploy your app as a cloud run service the app will be accessible via public url your api will not be exposed in the app but will be used by the application so whatever cost is incurred uh you know by the apis that are actually directly used within the app like you will have to incur it so that's basically what it means and if you click on this deploy option the app will be deployed to your google cloud project and you can access it so that's basically how simple it is and if you do want to build something cool with some ai integrations or let's say any ai integrations that you can see in here all you have to do is to head over to google ai studio sign up for a new account and you can just go ahead and give a prompt and start building it and yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show in this video so basically the newest version of google ai studio comes with some incredible features and it is more capable than ever and definitely make sure to give it a try and that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in today's video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one